हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक अगेन टू माय चैनल आई एम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर बाय प्रोफेशन एंड आई हैव बिल्ट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच आर बेसिकली अ सिंपल जस्ट लाइक स्मार्ट कार पिक एंड प्लेस रोबोट ठीक आर्म एन ऑटोमेटिक फैन कंट्रोल सिस्टम अ थीफ प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम टुडे आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एन एआई टेक्नोलॉजी इनटू माय प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो दैट और इन दिस आर्टिकल दैट आई एम इंट्रोड्यूसिंग Uh, uh, an AI technology into a simple line following robot. I am going to tell you that how can you introduce an AI technology into a simple robotic arm in this video or in this article. I am hopeful that you will spot me on Patreon to build this project as soon as possible. So let's get started. To build this project, we need some parts, and these parts are much important. And I think that you know very well about these projects, about these parts. What what I need first is Arduino Uno, an H bridge to make a connection between my controller and my robot, and then I need sensors to store the data that uh, of a line following robot about the turns it takes. So I am using nearly five sensor, which are five are line sensor and two are infrared sensor to take the turn, and five sensors will store that turning data. I will explain further in my article that how these five sensor are being utilized to build uh, an AI based line following robot. So another step is. Role of sensor is much more important in an AI technology. When we introduce AI technology, the sensors plays a key role, as they are used to store information into our processors, and these informations are again utilized by our Arduino AI-based code, and it perform, it analyze that, and it perform action according to that sensor's data. what it do is it stores the data and then it efficiently calculate that which will be the shortest way to solve this maze level that how can our line follower robot can reach to the end point in a shorter way we are introducing you can see there are five sensor which are line sensor and left and right are infrared sensor these five sensors are used as input zeros and one which are used to store the data when our robotic it makes a turn its uh, sensors zeros and ones works accordingly when there is a black spot it appears to be a zero and when there appears to be a one and when there is no black spot it appears to be a zero so when we are robot is moving it works accordingly and the data zeros and ones these five digital inputs are completely stored keep on storing in our robotic or uh, in our line following robot arduino uh, uno so to solve the issue is we are using maze left hand rule to store the data that what it will be do on each step it will check it's left hand wall that is there any object let's talk about here is a flow chart of a code and i am going to explain it in front of you or for more information i will provide the video of that source into my article for youtube viewers that can see my that article in a description below and i will provide the link for those who are on hextree website they can see this video live Let's we start our uh, there as you can see on right side there is a robot point start and on left side there is a flow chart. Let's study this flow chart in detail. Our robot is at a start point and what it is going to analyze now that have we reached the end? If we reach the end, then stop it. You have completely you have reached the your end point or you have reached to the goal. if it is false then here there is a left wall is there any left wall 
if there is a left wall then rotate 90 degree if there is no left wall then move forward and step forward simply it will be working as in a loop in a loop that it at the end point it will be somehow it will be reached at the end point now what five sensors will do that these data will be stored into the five sensors line following sensors and then our project our line following AI based robot will execute and process this data and come to know which one will be the shortest past path at the end at the end it will be no it will know the shortest path path and it will be go to the end point straight forward i ho i'm hopeful that my video is my video i am hopeful that i have explained my video very well and for more information i have provided this references link this references link can be found on my website hextree on my blog spot blog hextree.io and for more information you can read this another article from where i have picked uh, this project completely project that will be also helping for you i am hopeful that you will support me on patreon and you will subscribe my channel you will subscribe my blogspot thank you